Welcome to the AMS training series for Street Saver Online. GIS Section Link Overview. Your GIS map is a visual tool for viewing streets and conditions and for planning projects and treatments. On the main navigation panel, click on the GIS Toolbox module. The heading GIS Toolbox will appear in the lower portion of the panel and you will see the available GIS tools. MTC provides a default shapefile that creates a GIS map for your jurisdiction in StreetSaver. If you currently have the default shapefile in place, a disclaimer will be present in your GIS Toolbox. The disclaimer lets you know that the default shapefile is provided by the U.S. Census Bureau and that it is not guaranteed to contain all the current roads in your network. But you also have the option of having your own shapefile loaded by MTC into StreetSaver. Doing so will help ensure that your GIS map is up to date and accurate. To learn more about this option, visit www. Dot mtcpms.org and click on the products tab near the top of the screen. Then scroll down to the GIS mapping integration option. Back in the GIS toolbox, click on the section link icon. A window will open entitled section link. You will see the GIS map for your jurisdiction in the main viewer. Along the top of the section link window, you will see a toolbar that allows you to perform various functions. If you let the cursor hover over a tool, a description of the tool will appear. The first tool is the track zoom in. It allows you to select the area you would like to zoom to. Simply click and hold the cursor down, then drag a window around the area you would like to zoom to. The Zoom Out and Zoom In tools allow you to zoom incrementally by clicking on the Tool button. Next, Pan lets you move the map around to view the location you desire. Simply click and hold the cursor down, then drag the map to the desired location. If you click Full Extent, the map will zoom out to its widest view. By clicking the Toggle Extent button, the map will switch between the previous view and the current view. Simply click Previous Extent to go to the previous view. The remaining tools on the toolbar will be explained in the Creating and Modifying Section Links tutorial. Along the left side of the window is the Street Saver section data, which lists all the streets along with their section IDs within your Street Saver database. To list the streets in alphabetical order by section ID, click the gray tab entitled Street ID Section ID. To list the streets in alphabetical order by street name, click the gray tab entitled Street Name. You can also choose to list the streets in reverse alphabetical order by clicking the tab once more. For now, we will list the streets in alphabetical order normally. If you want to quickly locate a specific street, you can use the filter field to enter the street name. Click here to clear the filter. If you click on the letter A icon, a pull down menu will appear that allows you to select different options to customize your search. Next, the data from shapefile panel is located in the lower left corner of the window. This area contains a list of all the streets existing in your shapefile. The filter field is also available here. If you click on one of the street names, 
all of the GIS segments associated with that street will appear to the right on the map viewer and in the section search results panel. Different data attributes for each segment are listed in each column. To perform an auto link, which will automatically attempt to link the GIS segments to their correctly associated Street Saver Street Section data, click on Data Options at the top left of the screen and select Perform Auto Link. When the system is done with this task, a summary of the section links will be presented. Here, 90.8% of your sections have been linked. 31 out of 338 sections remain unlinked. 63.9% are fully linked, 26.9% are partially linked, and 9.2% remain unlinked. Now look at the Street Saver section data panel. To the left of each street name, you will see one of three possible symbols. If there is a green circle with a check mark, the section has been fully linked. It is important to double check that the section limits are correct on the GIS map even if the section is fully linked. If the symbol next to the listed street section is an orange circle with an exclamation point, then the section is partially linked. This may mean that the section has been associated with the correct street, but the correct portion of that street could not be linked or the section limits have not been selected. If the symbol next to the listed street section is a red circle with a dash, then the section is unlinked. This may mean that no GIS segment could be located or associated with for this street section. These topics will be addressed further in the Creating and Modifying Section Links tutorial. This concludes the GIS Section Link Overview.